friends welcome back please forgive me through this video for my croaky voice because I'm suffering with a cold hopefully these strepsils will keep me going we're going to move on from Colossians 1.15 to Colossians 1.16 and see what Paul meant in Colossians 1.16 see you there the true meaning and misunderstanding of Colossians 1.16 Colossians 1.16 For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Now most of Christianity believe Paul is teaching here that the whole of the Genesis creation was created by or through Jesus. Jesus pre-existing is another great deception. I was one who was deceived by believing this until my countless debates with Unitarians and Mr. Anthony Buzzard for over two years helped open my heart, mind and eyes to then force me to go back to the pages of the Bible and redo my research through new glasses to then come to a new understanding and surprising unknown fact proving to be a new revelation for me that was disclosed to Unitarians which I now share with many today the simple biblical facts the simple understanding is the fact that if the whole world was created by God with his son alive with him and next to him and doing the creating through him then why was this not ever taught or said or mentioned by God the Father himself God would have simply said by Yahweh's son the heavens were made all of their army by the breath of his son Psalms 33 6 but did you notice it's by Yahweh's word the heavens were made by the breath of God's mouth Psalms 33 6 is describing what we read exactly in John 1 3 when we read the correct translation saying all things were made by it meaning Yahweh's word from the breath of his mouth now what we find is that Jesus or the Son is not mentioned by God the Father but instead we read by Yahweh's word the heavens were made and on close examination we find the word is simply God's spoken word from his mouth his speech command and authority which comes by the breath of God's mouth if God created all things through his son Jesus we should instead read by or through Yahweh's son the heavens were made we also find in countless scriptures when referring to God Yahweh's name he always has attached the singular verbs as I, he, me, him, by, myself proving he is a single person just as we read in Genesis 1 27 
God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. There is nothing there saying we created them or we created them in our image. So we clearly see how God Yahweh is alone doing the creating with no one with him or next to him or beside him, proving he is one God and one person alone on his own. And again, Jesus is never ever mentioned by God the Father as being with God alive or that God is working through his Son creating the whole world just as we read God say he created all things by myself in Isaiah 44 24 Thus says Yahweh your Redeemer and he who formed you from the womb am Yahweh who makes all things who alone stretches out the heavens who spreads out the earth by myself Isaiah 44 24 Notice how we even read God the Father's name Yahweh is in the Hebrew translations that has been removed from most of the modern Trinitarian translations which is truly shocking because God the Father's name Yahweh identifies God the Father as God alone as one being and not three beings called the Trinity. So these simple biblical facts prove the understanding by most within the Christian population today is wrong and false and is another great and terrible deception most have been deceived into believing that Jesus was with God before all creation therefore deceiving most to wrongly believing that Jesus pre-existed his flesh when instead the biblical facts prove God is God alone on his own doing the creating. Notice the incorrect translations saying by him These are the correct translations, saying, in him. We can see the correct translations in the Greek text, saying, in him. and the correct translation in the end of the verse saying through him and not by him. So what did Paul mean in Colossians 1.16? For in him all things were created. Paul is saying God the Father has created all things with Jesus in mind, purpose and plan from the foundations of the world. Revelation 13, 8, 1 Peter 1, 20, Galatians 4, 4. We clearly see how Trinitarians have changed the correct word from in him or through him to by him to deceive people into believing Jesus is God. 
which is why Trinitarians so often use Colossians 1.16 to make us believe Jesus is God. Because God the Father always says he alone is the Creator. And as most Trinitarians do not look into the Greek translations but simply use false modern Trinitarian translations, they then remain deceived to what the scriptures are truly saying and meaning. But what did Paul mean in the end of Colossians 1.16, saying, All things were created through him and for him? Well, in Hebrews 1.2, we have the answer to what Paul meant by saying, All things were created through him and for him. In these last days, has spoken to us in his Son, whom he appointed heir, of all things, and through whom he made the ages. Notice the words, all things. The Greek word in Colossians 1.16 saying all things is the identical Greek word in Hebrews 1.2 which also says all things. Now Paul is telling us in Colossians 1.16 exactly what is written in Hebrews 1.2. Paul is not saying in Colossians 1.16 that the whole world was created through Jesus, but he is instead referring to Hebrews 1-2. Paul is simply telling us all things have been recreated in these last days, Hebrews 1-2, in Jesus, in the present age, new age, new kingdom, to come in Jesus. Very sadly, Trinitarians are deceiving people again with their false translations, as we see here. They are using the word universe or world to deceive people into believing God created the universe and the world through his son, when the correct translation is ages, just as we see in the Greek translations. The Greek word is aeons and refers to a period of time. In fact, if we click on the number 165, we come to the Strong's Concordance, which tells us what aeons means or ages. As we see, the Trinitarians themselves tell us aeons or ages simply means an age, a cycle of time, especially of the present age. And it's interesting how there is nothing there saying that aeons or ages means universe or world. And if we continue to read the helps word studies, look what we see. Example, Christians today live in the newer age, aeon, of the covenant, time period called the New Testament. So the Strong's Concordance and the helps word study confirms ages means in the present age, new age, new kingdom to come in Jesus. So the ages is actually referring to the beginning of the verse, in these last days, has spoken to us in his son. So we see how God has spoken to us in and through his son on his arrival at John 1.14 when he was born and not before, which again proves Jesus was not in existence before.
Now we know when Paul said all things were created through him and for him, Colossians 1, 16, Paul was not referring to the Genesis creation, which we know by simply winding back just a few verses to Colossians 1, 13, where we read Paul saying, he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son. So we see how Paul is referring to the present age, new age, new kingdom to come in Jesus as we read in Hebrews 1, 2. Now what Paul said in 1 Colossians 16, all things were created through him, which is identical to Hebrews 1, 2, agrees with what Jesus said, that his father has given him all authority on earth and in heaven. Matthew 18, 18. We clearly see that what Jesus said, that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him, was confirmed by the Hebrews writer, saying also, whom he appointed, meaning God, appointed Jesus the heir of all things. But what did Jesus mean? All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. The simple answer is again back in Colossians 1 16. Things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. We clearly see how Paul is referring to Matthew 28 18. Simply notice how the wording of Paul in heaven and on earth, Colossians 1.16, is identical to the wording of Jesus in heaven and on earth, Matthew 28.18. So, by this statement from Jesus in heaven and on earth, Matthew 28.18, we know Jesus is referring to the new creation because Jesus told us this after his death and resurrection when he fully accomplished the will of his father where God gave him all authority in heaven and on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. So friends, this must conclude that Paul in Colossians 1.16 was not referring to the old Genesis creation as so many believe, but the new kingdom and creation in and through Jesus, as we see Paul is referring to what Jesus said in Matthew 28.18. Friends, please join me again in my next video when we look at the true meaning and misunderstanding of Colossians 1.17. Thank you for seeing my research and I pray it will encourage you to be a Berean Jew and do your own research for the truth. Until next time, have a blessed week.